Warren Rain, stall gate number five, and high maintenance. 11 out of 11, 1,300, they are sent on their way in the opener of the bipod and seven carat, one of the first to go. The real hero is right there shortly after the start. They are followed by Most Noble as they settle down to race. Counts of Onyx scored very wide in the early stages. High maintenance on the outside. Dark Eyes is in the black silks. They're tracing only about two and a half, three lengths off the leader. Arrow Runners along the inside and Sovereign Rain has the bright colours and the black cap. And that race is about five lengths off the leader. Ricky Lowe, the blue caps, about seven, eight lengths off the leader. Then comes Counts of Onyx as they settle down to race now and they move towards the 600 meter marker and the leader is the real hero just in front seven carat a second most noble at the rail third Dark Eyes is in the black, high maintenance with the red cap on the outside. Sovereign Rain now getting the wake-up call is going through towards the inside. Got about four or five lengths to make up. As they get to the 300-meter marker, the real hero is the one in front. And it's the real hero, seven carat, Dark Eyes, then high maintenance. Coming to the last hundred, though, the real hero is in front. And the real hero is going on strongly here. And the real hero will win it. So the real hero has won it. The second position will probably go to Pioneer Spirit and then Sovereign Reign. So victory for number nine, the real hero. I know Sheldon fancied this one at big odds and the real hero comes to victory, uh, the son of Braveton Soldier. And this one, MJ Bailefeld for Ivan Wern. Ibel String is certainly firing, and the real hero wins a good contest. The second place, uh, getting up for second, will be number five, Pioneer Spirit. The heavily backed favorite will take third position, Sovereign Rain, then Dark Eyes, followed by Seven Carrots. And then it's a good couple of lengths back to the next place, Horse High Maintenance. And they were followed further back by, uh, behind that one was a Tour de Force, then Most Noble, and then further back in the field, Counts of Phonic, who didn't settle in the early stages. So as we look at the head-on, and going for broke is the real hero, who bolts away from the opposition and wins it by about two or three lengths at the business end. And then the Pioneer Spirit runs on nicely at the rail to take second. And then the favorite Sovereign Rain also with the Philly Dark Eyes and Seven Carat on the outside. That's the running of the bipod, the second race, until the third back to the studio. So number nine, the real hero. Well, he's so number nine, the real hero, the son of Brave Tin Soldier, has come through to win a good performance out here for the Ivan Moor stable. And let's get Ivan Moor into the winners area. Yeah, well done, Ivan. He looked to have that come on look about him. Uh, he's a nice horse. I thank God again for his blessing. Uh, I always thought a lot of this horse. His first couple of runs were poor. He got left badly last time, running on well as match back. Moody said to me. Running him over 12, 1400, this horse will win. And uh, I think this Braveton soldier is a pretty nice stallion. And I think somehow it's got quite a nice stallion there. Looks like a nice progressive horse, so I think Preggy's going to have some fun with him. I think so. I've got to thank Preggy for uh, this is his first winner for me. And I thank him very much for coming into the stable. He asked me to buy one for him up there, and I picked this horse for him. And thank goodness it's worked out all right. Well done. There's a betting voucher from Betting World there. Well done to you. Thanks very much to Chanel there. There's your Betting World voucher for the winning connections. Congratulations to Arben Moore. Let's get MJ Bailefeld into the picture here. Now, just looking at his last run, he was very, very slow. Tonight, you elected to get him up there? Yeah, Mr. Moore just asked me, actually, he gave me quite a bit of confidence in, in the ring. He, he said he's also been working very well, and um, I must just get him out the pens and, and have him there. And he jumped out, and I was there for nothing. And he was a bit green, but I must say, I wasn't going really fast. And, managed to get Austin to just bring us in and when I asked him he, he really quickened, he lowered and he quickened to win quite a nice race. Eh? You got some respectable rides coming up later, if you just want to touch on one or two you think that can feature in the finish? 
Ja, maar dan is voor Mr. Campbell niks als hij een second last time is toen een beetje wide, maar die if he reproduces that, he, he can have a good chance. The singing river um, seems to have a nice form, Jobok form, and it's obviously the two top rated horses to to beat in the race, but he he seems to have, have progressed and obviously trouble dance uh, last time were very disappointed. Um, I don't know, Scottsville at the moment, you can have it, not for me, maybe the horse is not enjoying it, yeah, but I don't think he enjoyed it and he ran below par. I think tonight we put the blinkers on and I think he'll be, he'll be in the fight at. Thanks very much for the feedback. Yeah, thank you and uh, to Mr. Moore, we've got a nice little strike rate going, so thanks to him and his owners for the support. Uh, my sponsors haven't here, they're doing a great job. Um, his Auditorio and Navarre in the top 10 rated horses in the world, so fantastic for them and well done Pippa and, and the whole Tabor family, thank you. Good on MJ Bailerfeld there. Number nine, the real hero, the son of Braveton Soldier. He's come through, he's kept up that gallop, and he's gone on to score the second race of the evening. Next up will be race number three. Stand by to get all those bets on.